Queen Camilla accidentally breaks royal protocol while meeting a fan in Australia. Queen Camilla appears to have broken royal protocol while greeting fans in Australia with an impromptu selfie. Queen Camilla broke royal protocol on Sunday after she agreed to a selfie with one royal fan who had waited to see her during her first day of engagements in Australia. King Charles and Queen Camilla are currently on their first royal tour to Australia, and some more since the King's ascension to the throne and their first day included a visit to St. Thomas Anglican Church in Sydney for the Sunday church service. After the service, the royal couple went outside the church to shake hands with well-wishers, who numbered around 200 people, with some waiting since 5 a.m. to catch a glimpse of the royals. Hello viewers, Please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. There, the Queen was caught posing for a selfie with a young royal fan. While there is no royal rule regarding selfies, it is generally discouraged for members of the royal family to pose for selfies. The protocol has been breached many times in the past by royals including King Charles, who recently posed for a selfie picture with New Zealand's women's rugby team last month. Elsewhere, the King spotted an old friend, his former polo teacher Sinclair Hill, described as Australia's greatest player of the sport. He was joined by his wife Wendy Hill who was kissed on both cheeks by Charles and said afterwards, he is a lovely man and the fact that he has not been well and still came. The effort he puts in to talk to all these people. I thought he looked terrific. Earlier in the day, the monarch attended commemorations marking the 150th anniversary of the Legislative Council in 1974 of New South Wales. He said in a speech to guests, democratic systems must evolve of course, to remain fit for purpose, but they are, nevertheless, essentially sound systems, as I said in this building 50 years ago. King Charles and Queen Camilla are leading the UK's chicken adoption trend. After being set up almost 20 years ago, the British Hen Welfare Trust recently rehomed its one millionth bird at Highgrove. Our nation's famous love for pets is extending beyond cats and dogs. To chickens, with even the King and Queen joining the hen party. After being set up almost 20 years ago, the British Hen Welfare Trust recently rehomed its one millionth bird at Highgrove, the Gloucestershire home of Charles and Camilla. The King provided a safe refuge for Henrietta and 30 other chickens who otherwise would have been sent for slaughter after being used commercially to lay eggs. Howarth, pictured below, the national charity has rehomed hens in schools, community areas, prisons and back gardens across the country inspiring the public to reassess the creatures as adorable pets. By working with farmers to rehome hens once their best laying days are behind them, the Trust has proved these birds have plenty of life still left in them, as feathery companions. Jane says, these hens make wonderful pets, with distinctive personalities and the added bonus of providing a lovely supply of fresh eggs. We're seeing around 70,000 of these hens rehomed each year now, which is simply wonderful. They're low maintenance and can be looked after even if you have a busy job. King Charles, set to ban historic word during upcoming royal tour. King Charles is set to ban a historic word during his upcoming royal tour with Queen Camilla, it has been claimed. The term walkabout will not be used on the King and Queen's tour of Australia and Samoa out of respect for Australia's indigenous communities. The phrase, coined by Queen Elizabeth II 54 years ago, is set to be replaced with opportunity to meet the public, out of respect for the customs and traditions of Aboriginal communities. The term has come to mean a member of the royal family meeting and greeting well-wishers. However, it is used in Aboriginal culture when a person travels on foot into the bush in times of ritual, meditation, change, grief or coming of age. Therefore, the phrase will not be used by Buckingham Palace during the October trip, the first long-haul tour undertaken by the King since his diagnosis with cancer, according to reports in The Telegraph. This tour is understood to be the first trip where the term has been deliberately avoided. 
it will be Charles's first return to Australia and Samoa's king and the head of the Commonwealth. The tour has been adapted in line with doctor's advice, Buckingham Palace has confirmed. The nine-day visit will factor in some rest periods after the long-haul travel, and will not include any evening engagements in Australia. The king, who is receiving treatment for cancer at the age of 75, will undertake several engagements relating to the disease. Meanwhile, Queen Camilla, 77, will attend events for her key causes of preventing violence against women, and promoting literacy. Engagements will focus on acknowledging and honoring Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island culture and traditions. The King and Queen will attend a community barbecue, a staple of Australian culture, in Western Sydney, as well as learn about bushfire prevention and native plants. The tour was originally intended to include New Zealand, however, it was scaled back on medical advice. A Buckingham Palace spokesman said, We've had to, as you would with any visit, think about how you can ensure their majesty's energies are preserved to be at their best. There had been some hope earlier in the year for their majesties to be able to visit New Zealand. On doctor's advice, and in close consultation with the Australian and New Zealand governments, that wasn't able to take place. We've had to make some difficult decisions about the program with the Australian government, about where their majesties can get to. In other news, the King is spending a quiet weekend in Royal Deeside to mark the second anniversary of his mother's death on Sunday. Queen Elizabeth passed away at Balmoral on September 8, 2022. According to Richard Eden, the Daily Mail's well-connected society diarist, the medical team are also staying at the estate for a meeting to discuss all health matters relating to the royal family. A medical source said, it's an important get-together. The King, 75, has been undergoing treatment for an unnamed form of cancer. The Queen, 77, who returned to royal duties last week before heading back to Scotland, is thought to be in rude health. Her Majesty met Sandra Tyler and Jill Hitchman, who were both undergoing a chemotherapy session. Noticing that Sandra was wearing a specialist hat which helps to prevent hair loss, she remarked, you've got your ice cap on. Camilla also engaged in a light-hearted exchange with Paul Holdway, a 55-year-old nurse and patient undergoing a stem cell transplant to treat his blood cancer. Earlier this year, an insider shared a similar sentiment with the Daily Mail. Charles, values family above everything, they said, and whatever the course of his relationship with his son he would never be content with just seeing his grandchildren on the odd video call. The monarch was reportedly keener than ever to make up for lost time with the grandkids he's only met a handful of times. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.